Hello everyone, now we are back again in Medieval Dynasty with another survival guide. Uh, today we are looking at the different mines, uh, or rather the caves, and thus the mining locations uh, for um, all your copper, bronze, and iron needs. We'll kind of be going over the different locations, where they're at, uh, and hopefully, you know, maybe you'll find that your village is close to one so that you can uh, start mining and... Um, you know, making some uh, higher tier tools and whatnot. Uh, so uh, to begin with, we are here at the very first mine, uh, mine location number one, which in my opinion is one of the easiest to find. Uh, it is right here on the map. I'll kind of scroll in first. Uh, you can see it's basically just kind of north, uh, east a little bit of uh, Branica here, and then Baranica uh, over here to the uh, northwest. Smack dab right there. Um, and I'll zoom out too so you can see right there. In relation to everything else. Uh, so this mine is, uh, in my opinion, the best for, you know, your kind of first, if you happen to live close, obviously, uh, but uh, the best just in terms of safety. You don't really run across, uh, you know, too many dangers in this area. You can kind of see it's like kind of just open and um, it is close to, you know, two villages as well that you can kind of, you know, run to, I guess, if you, if you do come across something. Uh, now and then there are uh, bandits that kind of spawn down that road down there, uh, but they're relatively rare. Uh, the most important thing, I guess, is that there isn't really any wildlife uh, around this area. So nothing to come, you know, kill you while you're trying to mine your ore and whatnot. Uh, so this is honestly the best uh, mine just to get started with your, your tools. Uh, and, and unless, of course, you have to trek like miles and miles and miles. and probably isn't very convenient for you. Uh, but this here is our first mine. Um, it's kind of big, I would say. It has a very nice kind of like roundabout way. You kind of just go down one and it's a big loop. You take a, you know, you go around and then boom, you're back here at the entrance. Uh, this is a mine that I, you know, I go to very frequently myself um, just because my village is a little bit closer to this one than to some of the others. So it's ideal for me. But, um, uh, but that is our very first mine. Um, again, like I said, pretty safe to get to. Uh, you won't really, you know, get, get too hassled uh, while trying to collect your, your ore here. And again, just one more check, just so you see, you can see right there on the menu, or the menu, the, 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 uh, the map right, right there. Um, so that is our first mine. We're here at mine two. I have to be careful because this one is guarded by uh, at least one bear. There he is lurking, so we're just kind of going to sneak in here. This is the cave right here. I'm going to come in here just so he doesn't see me and start eating my guts and all that. Um, I'll show you the map here. I'm just, just trying to get out of his sight because, you know, we don't eat a bear mauling us the whole time. Uh, so uh, the mine itself is right here. Uh, the entrance is about where the uh, my little marker is there. Uh, you can kind of easily get in there just from this road here um, that leads from Lesnica. Yep, Lesnica. That's the one. Uh, so you just take that road down. You'll kind of come across this other dirt road right here. Uh, and then if you literally just follow the trail up right up to the uh, cave entrance here. Uh, now, um, you can see, obviously, there's uh, plenty of ore here. I think this one also has a kind of like, yeah, like dual branches that kind of go out. Uh, so you can get a lot of ore here. Now, the problem, obviously, is that there is that bear who's hanging out out there. So you can kind of like sneak around like I did on the sides. You could potentially get into the mine without him seeing you, which is, you know, preferable. Um, a little harder to come out because you don't know where he is. But, uh... Oh, there he is. Okay, we'll just go. We're just going to go here. Good day, Mr. Bear. You have your honey. I'll go this way. Um, so, you know, if you can kind of stealth it in, you might be able to, to get in there without a problem. And obviously, if you have a mount, uh, you can maybe, you know, dash in and dash out real fast. Or, you know, just have your mount die from the bear. Totally possible, too. Um, so I'll just throw that on the map again here. So I'll uh, zoom in. It's right there. Again, take that dirt road. Zoom out. It's right this way. Take the road out to Lesnica or, you know, wherever you are here. Uh, and just, just so you guys can see right here on the map as well. Boom, that's where you got to go. Uh, so that's for the second mine. Obviously, uh, it's not as easy to get to as the first one that we saw. Um, not too, too dangerous because, you know, it's just one bear there. So you can potentially sneak around. Um, and as long as you have a, an okay journey because you are going to be traveling through some thick forest here. So you might run into other bears or wolves, uh, maybe even bandits. Um, you know, the journey to and from might not be the easiest. Uh, but, you know, certainly a little bit more doable than... Uh, some of these other mines that we are about to uh, go explore. Uh, but that is the second mine uh, location that you guys can, you know, 
uh, harvest from or put your mine down eventually and have your poor poor villagers encounter that bear and, and, and whatnot. Um, so that's, that is ours. that's our second one. We are at the third mine location now, and as you can see, we have a rather dangerous friend who likes to hang out at the uh, entrance of this mine. You can kind of see it behind that, that tree over there, beyond there. Um, and in regards to our map, the uh, cave location is right here. Uh, that's it. You can take, you know, these roads, these roads, wherever it is you're coming from, you know. Uh, and as a point of better uh, view here, you can see that it's south of Gostovia. You can just take this kind of road down here and go that way. Or, you know, north of uh, Hornica there, take that road and go here. Now, I will say getting to this mine is rather difficult. There are a few, you know, wolves and the occasional bear uh, as well who kind of might be, like, in this foresty area uh, on the way to get here and especially down here. Uh, so getting to this mine is not the easiest uh, thing. Um, and when you know, when you finally get here, you got, you know, one or two bears, usually two. I don't know where the other one is lurking and I'm a little scared to find out um, uh, outside of it. So, you know, when anytime you want to mine here, you kind of have to take care of those. Like you can might be able to sneak in and out. It's not the easiest thing to do. Um, and, you know, if you don't want to put your mount at risk either, you might need to, to kill them and then finally get in. So it's a bit of a hassle just because you have to kill them. They respawn, you know, every season. But I guess, the, you know, the flip side of that is that once you kill them for a season, you know, you don't have to worry about them again until uh, next season. Um, but they do uh, guard this mine. Um, so, you know, it, it's not the best for uh, beginner types, I would say. Uh, not unless you're a little desperate for some uh, some more ore. Uh, but the mine in there is pretty expansive. Uh, you can get a, a good amount of ore in there. Uh, you just have to deal with those two bears first. So, you know, um, that's, uh, you know, maybe maybe that's fun for you. If it is, you know, go for it. Have fun. Do that. Um, but for the rest who want to, you know, maybe don't want to deal with bear, uh, bears, um, this might, might not be the, the best one to kind of come to often. Um, but yeah, so that's, that is the third mine though. If you, if you're, if you're needed some more ore and you don't mind some bear hunting, uh, mine number three right over there. This is the fourth mine. Um, you can see right here, the opening, obviously. Um, on the map here, this one uh, is kind of like in this mountainy area, uh, just about uh, northeast of Jezerica here. You can take this road, come on down, I'll zoom in, uh, take the road down, and eventually you'll see like this little dirt path that leads right to it. Essentially, it's like, you know, there's the road. You just got to make sure that you don't miss it. You don't walk right by it uh, if you're coming that way anyway. This way is a little bit obvious, uh, a little bit more obvious to see it. Um, we have a little bit of a drop here, you know, some, some, uh, free pickaxes and some ore. Love that for us. Uh, we'll pop in here. Uh, now this mine is not, uh, guarded, uh, by bears or anything like that. So that's fantastic. Um, it, uh, since it is kind of like in the, the mountains, you might run across some bear or some wolves on the way here. Um, so that you know, keep that in mind. But the actual mine itself isn't guarded. So in my opinion, this 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 mine is a, is a little bit safer than uh, some of the others. Um, it does ha obviously have another uh, a few branches um, as well. Um, this one I don't think is quite as big as some of the others, um, but you know you can still get a good amount of, of ore here. This might be good for like you know like a secondary kind of mine trip or something. Um, but uh, you know, not bad, not bad at all. Um, so just kind of pop back out here. Uh, the fact that it is safe, though, obviously, uh, that's that's real nice for our beginner miners out there. Um, uh, depending, on, depending on the kind of like where your village is, this might be nice to kind of run over to, get some stuff, run back, you know, again, wherever wherever it is you have your village. Um, but that is basically our, our, uh, our fourth mine. Uh, rather decent, rather safe. Again, just the, the trek itself might be a little bit dangerous depending on, you know, how you're coming over here. Um, or it might be super easy. You might find the best path ever, you know, go path find, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but that is our fourth, uh, mine right there. Lovely, super safe. Love it. Highly recommend. We have reached the fifth and I believe the last mine, uh, uh cave. Um, it's a very, uh, little kind of cute area, honestly, right off the stream here. Um, there's the opening on our map here kind of see it uh not you waypoint thank you uh it's right here essentially 
uh, you follow this little river. Eventually, you will see it. The lake itself you can find by uh, Hornica. So you can go to Hornica, run to the big lake, find the stream uh, that's running down here, and eventually you will find the cave. And just we'll kind of zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see. There we go. There's its location. Uh, not you. Anyway, uh, now this area is uh, pretty safe. Obviously, getting here might be a little bit of a hassle. You might have to go through some bears or some wolves or some boar or something, you know, coming to attack you. But once you get here, it's pretty safe. There is a bear who hangs out down there. I did kind of uh, have to run past him on my way here. Um, but there isn't anything, you know, right here. So that's fantastic. Uh, and you could probably honestly just avoid him entirely by coming like that way or something. Um, but here's the, the mine. We'll kind of uh, take a little look at it. Um, uh, this one's kind of, you know, out of the way. Uh, but it is relatively uh, safe, I would call it anyway. So, you know, um, if you kind of happen to live in this area, you know, this might be a great mine uh, for you to use. Um, and if you don't live super close, then if you're desperate for a mine, then, you know, maybe come. You can kind of see this is a pretty big mine. It kind of keeps going. There's obviously a, a bit of a, a, a roundabout here. Uh, but it is a little bit bigger than, uh, you know, at the very least mine number four that we just saw. Um, so you can get a lot of ore here, uh, if you're willing to, to make the trek. I'm going to get lost in here. Oh, no. <laughs> um, don't do that. Don't be me. Um, uh, okay, good. We made it, guys. Whew. Uh, but obviously it is, uh, rather large in there. Um, and it's, you know, kind of like a pretty place, honestly. I don't mind it. This is really pretty. Um, I don't really come here because it's a bit out of my way. But if you happen to live in, like, you know, the Hornica area, uh, Boom, go right over there. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Uh, now, uh, that's the fifth mine. Um, and to get into the mining uh, bit of this uh, this episode, I suppose, uh, there are two ways to mine. Uh, the first is, you know, on your own. Uh, you can equip yourself with a pickaxe, uh, go in there and start, you know, hitting the ore uh, that we saw, the little uh, the rocks that have the pretty little dots on them, the colored dots. Um, I'll kind of kind of run up here so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. Uh, so this here is our, our tin ore. Uh, it's got like a little bit of white on there. This is a salt ore. You can obviously, I mean, that's pretty, that stands out pretty well, I would say. So if you're, if you need salt, there you go. This is our copper ore, you know, coppery color, right? Makes sense. Uh, now that is all you're going to see initially. Eventually when you unlock uh, the uh, mine, the actual mine, that is when you can start getting uh, the iron ore as well. Uh, what'll happen is you'll set the mine uh, down, and I'll get into that process in just a moment. I'm just trying to find where I got to find here. Uh, and uh, some of these branches will actually open up even further. Yeah, like right here, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. It usually tells you if there is one, but oh, it's probably because I have my thing other than that. Maybe, yeah. There we go, required the mine. So what will happen is that will open up, and you will see a bunch of like uh, iron nodes, and I think they're like a, like a if I recall, it's been a while since I've actually seen them because I haven't gotten my mind up yet. Uh, they're kind of like a bluishy, lightish blue, silvery kind of color, I suppose. Like like that kind of tone. Um, so you can uh, then just, you know, go ahead and, and start mining that as well. I thought I was going to get lost again. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so you just uh, hit those with your pickaxe. And, you know, you ha you can uh, get a access to a, a pickaxe right from the beginning of the game. You have your stone pickaxe here. You can see it only needs a log and uh, four stones. You just get that, make a few, and then, you know, go to town. Uh, and you can start getting ore to make better pickaxes, better tools, better weapons, all of that, um, which is lovely. Now, eventually, uh, you, when you have enough um, building technology, where are you? There you are. You can, I believe, yeah, you need 5,000 uh, points in your building technology. You can unlock the mine. Um, you get all these little fancy things with it. Uh, but essentially, uh, once you are ready to put that down, you actually have to go to one of these caves. Uh, and then you can go and your quick build and you can click it, uh, set it down, uh, you know, at the entrance of a cave. Um, and just to save yourself from, you know, running back and forth, uh, the recipe that you need, the, the resources that you need to bring with you uh, are uh, 16 logs and 16 planks. So bring that with you if you can, you know, have your, have your mount if you have one, you know, carry that load for you. Make sure your hammer is in good condition and that way you don't have to run back and forth. You can just uh, have that mine there and then um, you can assign your, your extraction workers to it and they can start 
uh, mining for you, which is honestly one of the best parts of the game, if you ask me, not having to run back and forth uh, to the mines anymore. It's literally one of my favorite things. Um, uh, and uh, another great aspect is that, like, you don't really have to come back here ever again because you don't have to, you know, you don't have to necessarily put pickaxes, like, in their box that will appear here. You can just, you know, get them the tools they need just within your own resource storage thing. So you don't have to keep running back to uh, give them their tools as well. So that's pretty fantastic as well. You literally just put a mine in and they just do all the mining for you. Uh, and that does include uh, iron mine or iron ore as well. And that is, I believe, other than, like, you know, going to go buy iron ore or finding it, you know, in, in some of the drops, uh, the only way to mine it itself, I believe, is with the, the actual mine. Um, you're not going to find the ore in there without it. So, um, but that is, uh, that's about it for mining. Hopefully you guys found that, that helpful. Hopefully, you know, you, you discovered that your village happens to be close to one of these mines. That'd be pretty fantastic. Uh, but if you do have any other questions about mines or caves or mining, uh, do let me know. Um, and or, you know, if you have any other comments, do let me know as well. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for, for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one. But until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.